Yes! A black main character. Woo! Yes, Webtoon Greenlight. Keep it up. Keep it up. My sisters are in this. Let's do it! Hello everyone, the 23 King is back with another Webtoon video. And though I am very hyped to, to review this Webtoon for you, I can kind of see why it took a little bit of time to get as many votes as the other two series. You know, I ain't gonna say, I'm just screwing it, screwing it. But all joking aside, um, it's a lot going on within this Webtoon, um, to say the least about it. Uh, the third chapter actually really only did was like, man, is there any more that this webtoon can do? So with that being said, let's get into it. So, Finding Wonderland is one of the mini series that is coming from Webtoon Greenlight. Again, if you don't know what it is, there's a link in the, the description down below to tell you what Webtoon Greenlight is and why you should be a part of it if you haven't already. If you're not, you are sleeping. The chap, the webtoons have been absolute fire. Two of the three have been greenlit, and it already looks like Finding Wonderland is about to be greenlit as well. Uh, with spells from hell and when uh, Yazi whistles have both been greenlit so again we're just keep on on the fun get in on the action get in on this it's good quality stuff that we are doing here so again I'm very happy to review this series even though it's gonna be hard because even I don't know what's going on it, 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 it like this this series you know at one point tries to pin itself as Alice in Wonderland and then I guess you know they're trying to you know start the new West SAO of webtoons so now it has these weird SAO vibes and at this point I'm just like well you got a combination between the matrix SAO and hack dot or dot hack whatever so I, I, look I don't know so finding Wonderland basically takes place uh, basically it's taking the spin-off of Alice in Wonderland and again, just making it his own original. So the black knaves are basically fighting uh, with the kingdom in order to get the heart. If they obtain the heart, then they basically uh, win. In the sense, look, I'm just gonna keep it simple. Like, look, it was it was very hard. And here, and the ace, who is black, by the way, and the queen, who is look look at my sisters. Look look at them. Look at these hot mamas. But anywho, uh, the ace is basically her strongest. Uh, a warrior who is to do battle with the uh, with the people who are trying to steal and go after the heart. If the heart is obtained, then basically uh, they lose and everyone, I believe, perishes. Um, again, it has a very nice premise, but again, if you take it really in comparison between Spells from Hell and even When Yazi Whistles, like the difference between Yazi When Yazi Whistles and this webtoon is that how the best way to say it it's like it take it it took one thing and made a spin on it but this series seems like it's taking like multiple 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 spins uh on things which is not bad to an extent but i feel like i worry about the consistency issues uh as it goes along within the webtoon series again there's just a lot going on and there are many series you know <laughs> you know i'm not gonna say that <laughs> of Tower God, that you know seem to just have a lot going on and it's really hard to keep up at that point but the difference what what how tower of god really makes it work is that it keeps one area and it really specifies and really intricately explains that one area and then when we're ready to move on it would do the same process again so you're in that method you're allowed to have multiple characters and multiple layers and multiple plot lines even but you have to really make it detailed and very consistent which i don't feel that the series did Especially in the third series, third episode, where, uh, again, you, you're just left with a lot more questions. I guess the purpose of that was to intrigue the reader to for more, but I really feel like ultimately you're just asking questions. So you're not, are you really getting votes out of, you know, people intrigued with your webtoon? Or are you really just getting, uh, are you really just getting people intrigued just what the heck is going on? So you really got to think about that. Now, I'm not saying that it's a bad webtoon, so please don't think that, because I know if you really like it, um, it's a really good webtoon, of course, you know, of course, I'm really, black race, we represent, anywho, um, but, no, honestly, I'm not really saying that it's a good or a bad series, again, I always say in these videos, I kind of want to leave it to your interpretation alone, again, I'm not really saying, um, anything at all, especially, I don't want to badmouth it, because, again, it could get really, really good, um, you know, when it gets greenlit, so, I don't know, all these series are just 
amazing content for me because I really get to see where they're going to go with their third episodes. I feel like these creators all just had an idea in mind. Make our third episode as strong as possible while keeping the first and second very consistent. And out and finding one that just really suffers with that in my utmost opinion. Because when you just go into, when SAO is just revealed, it's just like, wait a minute, huh? Wait a minute, what? Wait a minute, why? Why do we need why do we need SAO and Alice in Wonderland? Like uh, Alice in Wonderland didn't need SAO. The world is good for for right now. Uh, type of feeling. So, like I said, is it a good series? Again, I'm gonna leave that to your interpretation. But if you like the series, I can see why that people are big fans of this series. But again, it this series really took longer to get a lot of likes as the other two series. Like Spells of Hell was instantaneous. When Yazzie whistles instantaneous, like this one took a little bit longer, which again, it's not bad, but I do feel like with the addition of the other two series are just so good that you you basically are competing with that series. But also in addition to is just that your third episode is more confusing than it actually is helpful. So you really have to keep that in mind um, as you know, you know, other creators are doing this. So again, I feel like uh, Spells from Hell and Yazzie uh, are the two uh, animals to beat here in my utmost opinion uh, again there's not a lot of data right now hopefully you know uh, I forgot like green China I, I forgot his name uh, Ghibli whatever his name is the little butterfly thing like will give us more information about that pretty soon but as far as right now again it's just another amazing series that is coming out but you know I wonder about the other series too because uh, they really have to sell it for me um you know like like i said they really have to sell it for me you know in a sense you know there's just a lot of weird concepts and a lot of weird stories which is good because the imagination runs very free in this world but again it's just i feel like their third episode just has to be very strong and definitely spells from hell and yazi did that to uh an extent so again just check it out. I say I would, if you haven't already, I'll leave you a link in the description to check out this series. And if you like it, make sure you like the third chapter of the series so that way it will count as a vote so it can get greenlit. I mean, just because you think your vote doesn't matter doesn't mean you shouldn't vote for it, I feel. I mean, it's already going to be greenlit, but just do it. <laughs> um, it's still very supportive for the, uh, for the content creators. So, yeah. And that is my video. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, if you like this video and what I do, make sure you leave a like and a subscribe please also make sure you like and subscribe to your favorite content creators because it helps them out a lot um if you want to read uh this series i'll leave a link down in the description below if you want to know about webtoon greenlight i'll leave a description down below as well uh with that being said i have been 25th genius and i will see you next time